as an artist on a schedule, you might be wondering how I get it all done. Well, the answer is simple. I wrote this episode three days ago. This is Daphne Tet. I know it's been more than a couple weeks since the last Daphne to Soaks, but here we are again! You realize that intro was factually incorrect, right? Huh? You said you started this episode three days ago when really you started writing it last week. It's called Comedy Mutus. Yeah, haven't you heard of comedy? Also, I was in the process of writing this episode three days ago, so it's technically correct. Yeah! I'm surrounded by idiots. Me too. What? What? We're getting off track, guys. That reference doesn't even make sense in this context. All right, where do we start? Daphne, are you feeling tired right now? Uh, no. Liar. You were tired while writing this episode three days ago. Could you please let that go? The fact still stands that you sometimes write while you're tired or uninspired. Hey, <laughs> that rhymes. That doesn't matter. Oh, you mean every single episode of Animal Crossing after the time skip? Judy, you can't just say that. Oh, but I did. She films those videos right after breakfast. She's not fully awake. But there isn't enough time in the rest of the day to get it done, and we have to upload it on Thursday for our adoring public. Her adoring public of 65 subscribers? I don't really think that's worth starting every video with, Hey everyone, this is Daphne Tet. I do not sound like that. You do, when you make a video on six hours of sleep and only three hours of being awake. I have a whole day of things to do. Where am I supposed to fit it in? I know you want to make these videos, but if it means sacrificing sleep, you should really rethink it. I'm not sacrificing sleep, I just sometimes make videos at less than full energy. So you admit you're making videos while you're tired. And this is what we need to rethink. Nina, come on, I thought you were my positive side. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm anti-Judy. I'm your morals, through and through. That just means we need a balance. You know, so she can keep doing things. Doing things? Daphne puts a lot into each video she makes and every story she writes. She can't just stop doing them. We need to find a way for her to keep doing what she loves without losing any sleep. Dude, hold on, I'm not losing any sleep. But Zonia's right. We need to pull some strings so that Daphne can keep doing things. Can we stop saying doing things? It's not specific enough. But being specific takes time. Do you expect us to keep repeating making videos and writing stories? We're getting off track. What's the root of the problem? She's not getting enough sleep? She's making videos right after breakfast? I make videos when I'm not in the mood? Bingo bongo. Though you're feeling uninspired or unmotivated, you make videos anyway, leaving your content feeling stale and lifeless. Then there are times when you get writer's block and just write through it, leaving writing that's abnormal and not solid. Oh, you mean Daphne's the Silksy? I think I've heard of it. Not funny, Judy. Also, me to swabble around the topic of never saying things again. Could you please never say bingo bongo again? I just wanted a fun and witty way to tell Daphne she was correct. Smart does not exactly mean witty, honey. So how are we supposed to change Daphne's schedule so that she isn't making videos while she's still tired? Everything seems pretty well cemented into her schedule. She doesn't have to make videos right after breakfast. Maybe she can try doing it in the afternoon. You know, when she's had a chance to wake up? There's a whole hour between... Her class is on Wednesday, she can do it. You mean right after Japanese class? You remember the last time I filmed an Animal Crossing video during that time? I'll be tired as fuck. Well, you won't know until you try. Uh, I'm pretty sure she did try and she hated it. I did not hate it, I was just tired. From what I remember, that was the harassing Kabuki episode, which was one of the most weirdly funny episodes of the series. Oh, Raymond! Dude, shut up, I did not sound like that. So, like, does that mean we should start filming in between classes so we can get the most weirdly funny content? Yeah, let's go with that. I've got something I want to bring up. What's that? We keep talking about Daphne being tired, but what about when she writes when she's unmotivated? You're right about that. So you admit you're not giving your best work. What? I never said that. We're on a schedule. Meet us. Back me up here. I'd love to, but is that schedule worth sacrificing quality over? Well, what are we supposed to do about it? Isn't it obvious? Don't write when you don't want to. But, no buts. You can't be forcing yourself like this. If you don't enjoy working on a project, don't work on it. Save it for later, for when you're ready. Yeah, 
but what? One of the series that I'm not all that motivated to write is Daphne's Disoaks. What? Daphne. I'll admit it, I'm not as hyped about this series as I was a year ago. Now writing episode just feels like putting something down so I could upload it on Sunday. Well, crap. What is it? Have you not been listening to Airhead? Our creator just said that our existence is a burden to her. I wouldn't say that. I think you've said enough. I know when I'm not wanted. I have faith in you, Daphne. Sayonara, bitch. <sighs> Come on, guys. You know I didn't mean it that way. I really like you guys, and I really enjoy making these videos. It's just the scripts I, that I don't enjoy writing. I really just want them to, like, poof into existence. Well, at least I know Zonya's still on my side. The episode didn't end right when she left, so... Yeah, she's, so I know she's writing this monologue, and, uh, Nidus, I really like the, I really ap appreciate your status as our voice of reason in the group. You keep us on track and provide us a realistic perspective on things. Nina, I know you sometimes get drowned out by everybody else, but you're, you're always there to steer me on the right path, and you're also super cute. <laughs> and Judy. <sighs> Judy, 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 on College Street with the raccoon at Shoppers Drug Mart. You might be my negative side, but I really enjoy how your snide remarks liven up the videos. And you know what? Having a pessimistic outlook on things really helps me to think realistically. So what I'm trying to say is, in my eyes, you're all real people. And if I had to, and I wouldn't stop making these videos if it meant I had to say goodbye to all of you. Well, shit, dog, that's all you had to say. We should have made this episode the season finale. Aw, I knew you didn't mean it. Apology accepted. All of you forgive me? Nobody has a chip on their shoulder? We're on the eighth page. We don't really have the time for that. Okay, I guess it means it's time for the wholesome life lesson. Don't make videos while you're tired or unmotivated. Or if you don't make videos, just don't do things when you're tired or unmotivated or for some reason at less than full energy, because if you do, that won't be your best work. And if you don't enjoy doing something, don't do it. But if you do enjoy something, work at it with everything you've got, but not at the cost of your mental health though. But yeah, don't. Anyway, that'll be the end of Daphne's Disoaks with Zonia and Nina and Judy. Luckily the door is right here. <laughs> and meet us. Goodbye. And thank you guys all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you at the next episode.